Right there guys, hello, it is GT here, welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another level 1 challenge video. Now for those of you that have been around my channel for a while, you may have seen me killing a giant and a dragon at level 1, but today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be trying to kill a troll. And just to pretty much try and make this as hard as possible, I'm not going to be trying to kill the normal version of a troll, I'm going to be trying to kill a frost troll, which is, if you didn't know, quite a lot more powerful. Ooh. You're hard. Now you may be wondering, all right then GT, you've killed a dragon at level one, so what's so special about trying to kill a troll? And the answer is, I'm only gonna be using an iron sword to do so, or at least trying to anyway. Now guys, I do want to clarify that this character is the same one that I killed the dragon at level one on. So I do have a little bit of loot, but realistically, it's nothing particularly amazing, and my main weapons really are a hunting bow and an iron sword. I also have 14 potions of minor healing that hopefully we won't need to use, along with some white run guard armor that I actually picked up when you have to kill the dragon at the start of the main quest line. And as my character is pretty much naked, I think we should probably put this on now. So guys, when I did kill the dragon at level 1, I did actually level up a few skills, which means that my overall level now is level 3. However, just after showing you all of my skills, I am going to reload the save and go all the way back to level 1, just so I am not lying in the title. As you can see guys, my character is now back to level 1. So I don't think it's just going to be me that's experienced this, but when you're travelling up to High Hrothgar at the start of the game, you come across a frost troll on your way up the steps. Now the first time I came across this troll, I was such a low level and got absolutely destroyed straight away. I'm now going to be trying to do it at level 1, so hopefully we can give him a good fight this time. Oh, not before we manage to get a few wolves though. Now trolls are very fast creatures and they are also very powerful when they catch up to you. So I'm not entirely sure how much use my shield is going to be, but we're going to give it a go. And as mentioned guys, I am going to be trying to do this just with an iron sword to start with, but I suppose we'll see how that goes. Now I'm pretty sure there is a frost troll somewhere around here, so maybe now would be a decent time to quick save. Now I'm not really sure where I'm sneaking actually, to be honest, because I'm going to try and kill him with a sword anyway, so he's got to find me sooner or later, so I guess we kind of just run through and see if he finds us. I can't see any red dots on my little mini-map, so I don't know whether he is here. Maybe we should venture up here and see if he's hiding in these rocks. Oh, I can see a red dot. I can see a red dot on my map, but they're terrifying. Oh my god, that is a terrifying noise. What is it? Is it? Oh, it's a troll. It is a troll. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, man, they're just so terrifying the way that they run. He's a bit yellow, actually. Right. Oh, oh, my life. Look at that damage he just took on me. Oh, my God. He's almost killed me just with one hit. And look how fast he is. Oh, my God. Maybe the iron sword attempt was a bit ambitious. Okay, so let's try and hit him. Oh. <laughs> oh, my life. Well, that didn't work out very well. So I'm quite grateful that I quick saved now. Um, we might need to rethink the tactic that we're going to do this. There's me at the start of the video bragging that I'm going to do with an iron sword. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Although in this rocky terrain, like I did with a giant at level 1 video, I might be able to trap him on some rocks and kind of hit him with some arrows. Oh, I've spotted him again. I have seen him. I'm going to have one more go with a sword and just see how we get on. Actually, on second thoughts, I'm pretty sure that frost trolls are weak to flame spells, so I guess we should give that a go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so his health bar's going down a little bit. Oh, now run away, run away so he can't hit us. Oh man, he's so fast. He's actually so fast. Trolls are like the Usain Bolt of the Skyrim world. It's a bit unnerving, really. Ah! Oh man, <laughs> he must have been close then. Yeah, you stomp those feet. However, look at his health though. He's going down a little bit with the flame spell. But also look at my magic bar. That's not looking brilliant. I'd hop up here maybe. And oh, there he is. There he is. Oh man, he's going to get me. Oh, wow, that must have been close. He takes these massive swipes with those horrible... Oh, he's coming back for me. Help. Oh, his health's regenerated. I'm pretty sure his health has just regenerated. That is not a good sign. They are seriously scary looking things, these trolls. So maybe I am going to need to try and hit him with a sword. Oh dear. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, well, okay, so I can... So if I can do that and kind of hit him and then jump away... Oh no, but then he runs after me. That seems to work, actually. So if I do a power attack... Uh... <laughs> nope. 
So here we are again, and I think maybe the flames technique was pretty good, um, but the iron sword technique seriously is not working, so I might need to get the bow out, I think. Oh, I've just noticed as well, I do also have a staff of flames that I got from the chest when I killed the dragon, so that might be quite useful against this guy. Now, I think the best tactic might be just to go up to the troll, take as much damage as I possibly can, but quick save whilst I'm killing him. It kind of seems a bit like cheating, but... This is a seriously difficult fight. So I think I might use this staff to start with and just see if I can take a bit of health off him with this. Okay, here he is. There we go. There we go. And run away. Okay, so... Wow, he's just too quick. He's so fast. Wow, this is properly scary. I'm having to really concentrate doing this. More health. More health. Take more health off him. Come on. Come on. Oh, this staff's working a dream. Run, run, run. Run and then hit with the flames. That's the tactic so far. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting... Ah! Oh! <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. Look at his health. Oh, my God. I think we can do it with the staff. This staff is a really lucky coincidence. I swear to God, I did not actually plan on having this with me. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, he's hit me. He's hit me. I got too confident then, and he got too close. I've actually never used staffs before on Skyrim. They're pretty good. We got him. He's trapped on this little rock, I think. <laughs> Look at him. He's trapped on the little... Oh. oh, man. So the weapon's run out. So he's coming right at me, but I think now would be a good time to quick save, just in case he comes and kills us. Okay, so I've got the hunting bow out now. I need to trap him somewhere, I think. Iron arrows and a hunting bow, not exactly the scariest weapon. I have also run out of stamina, which is not good. But if I can hit him with a few arrows... I mean, it is taking health off him. Not an incredible amount, but like I said, if I can kind of trap him here, this is a decent little spot. Look at all the arrows poking out of him. I'm just waiting for him to get unstuck, though, and come belting at me. Look, I don't know if I can kill him faster than his health can regenerate. We are definitely getting there. Come on. I think we're on the last stretch now, to be fair. It's definitely going down, so I think we can kill him, providing that he just keeps getting stuck on this rock. It definitely feels like a bit of a cheat, and it is definitely requiring a lot of luck for this. The staff and the fact that he's got trapped on this rock. Okay, we're getting there now. We are getting there now. Must be close. Must be close. Oh, he's down. He's down. Now is the time to hit him. Now is the time to hit him. One more. One more. And he's dead. We have got the troll. We've killed the frost troll. Uh, oh my god, no, we haven't. <laughs> he's back up. And he's running. Have we got him down? Oh man, he got he got up and he's running away. He's health regenerating the thing. Come on, a third kill animation. Surely that's got to have killed him. Yes, we've done it. Oh, my life. We actually did it. Did you see that? I thought he was dead. And then his health just regenerated. Oh, my God. Now, to answer the question in the title of the video, yes, you can kill a troll at level one. But I'm going to be honest, the only way I managed to do it is through good fortune. So the fact that I had this staff of flames and the troll got stuck on one of these steps is pretty much the only way that I managed to kill him. Honestly, if I was trying to do it without trapping him and with an iron sword, I would have absolutely no chance. Which kind of does make me look a bit of an idiot from what I said at the start of the video. <laughs> So guys, in conclusion, yes, you can kill a troll at level 1, but to be honest, you're definitely going to need a lot of luck or skill. In my case, it was definitely a lot of luck and not a lot of skill, but who knows, maybe you guys could do it with a sword at level 1. Let me know if you've ever done this in the comments. So guys, if you haven't already seen them, go and check out my killing a dragon at level 1 and killing a giant at level 1 videos, which I will link in the description. Also, guys, if you are new here and like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe. And, of course, go and follow all of my social media that is on screen now. Aside from that, guys, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back here very soon.